Well, Davey, two, went, did go two, uh, two goals down today against Rana, but we managed to pull it back. Can you sum up your the 90 minutes in a, in a hole? Yeah, I thought it was the least we deserved. I think for over the piece, I thought we, we outplayed them football-wise. They obviously got two goals and a half that probably went against the run of play. Two goals that were probably the result of their own downfall, but second half, the character, the determination, the desire to get something out of the game was evident. We credit to the boys, they've responded. And as I say, it's the least we deserve was that goal towards the end. We need Cam, he's delighted for him. Again, he's, he's got a wee habit of popping up and scoring goals, so please for him. Please for all the boys, because to be fair, we had a, bit of, a few home truths at half time and they've responded. And, uh, that, well, we're pleased with a point, considering where we were 2 0 down and the man down. And a couple of incidents in the Schnorr box uh, early on in the first half. Uh, what was your thoughts on the two penalty decisions? Well, when you, you try to have dialogue about situations, but obviously there's certain rules and regulations that doesn't allow that, but I think that's maybe the problem in the game that you can't seem to have dialogue with officials. I know there's, there's a time and a place for it, but I'd just like to hear his reasoning why he didn't give, which was obvious. Um, I mean, the, the most blatant handball I've seen this season, and then Mark McGregor has been pulled, it's, a, it's such a blatant foul, but um, I think that's that's a worry, we, that's a problem, we don't seem to be able to discuss things. And, uh, we just have to accept it, which is difficult at times. Um, but, you know, we live and learn, I'm, I'm no angel, I know that, but I just feel that you know, when you're, the lack of consistency at times is, is something that really frustrates me. And what did you say to the boys at half-time? Because we did see a dramatic in, improvement. I think they saw a different side of me at half-time, which I haven't, I've tried to keep under wraps, but I had a go at one or two. We had some harsh words to say. We, a uh, few home truths, but at the end of the day it was all about just trying to get a reaction and get them to realise and appreciate that they are a good side, we are, today, I mean, we are a good side when we play and at times things go against you in adversity, you've got to dig in and drag yourself out of that hole that you're in and to be fair to every one of them we did that. And your thoughts on the red card? Aye, it probably was about, I think. Callum's probably knows he's gone in with two feet and certainly didn't go over the ball. I don't think he went. Certainly didn't go in malicious, wasn't he? Didn't go in trying to hurt anyone, but he's, he's gone in with two feet, kind of jumped in a wee bit. And it's obviously given the referee a decision or a choice to make. And that's, I'd say that to the players if you give the officials a, a decision to make, then you're, you're taking that chance. But, if, but aye, there's some the, the boys dug in, and as I say, they've got the just rewards. And off to Elgin next week, who, who they are the only team in Scotland that's actually managing to get fans in. Do you think this will, this will change the atmosphere? Uh, brilliant for Elgin, delighted for the fact that they can do that. Um, just a shame that the rest of the country can't do, can't uh, follow suit. But um, I think my area, the police, I think Queen of South, are hoping to get fans in next week. So there's possibly light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I know it's been difficult for everybody in the whole country, um, worldwide, obviously. but. Um, Certainly, it may look like there's a bit of light at the end of the tunnel, so hopefully it's not been, it shouldn't be too long that we're, we're getting fans back at Oakview. TV, thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot.